All right, number nine. We told you yesterday about how Queen Elizabeth politely turned down Oldie Magazine for their Oldie of the Year award, but the classy lady who accepted is 90-year-old Leslie Caron. She is one of the last surviving stars in the golden age of Hollywood, and she was a great dancer. Here she is in her film debut in 1951 in An American in Paris. Oh, yeah. Stretchy. Uh, Why, stop. Is that the whole movie? Probably. Sound like you've seen this yeah, I feel like dance. I'm. I'm thinking of the uh, American Werewolf in London. I was thinking of something else. Okay. I was thinking of that scene in Singing in the Rain where, where he sings in the rain. Greg Kelly's oh, yeah. dancing, or, or Gene, uh, Kelly. Gene Kelly's yeah. dancing with. But I think that's Sid Charisse. Uh, Another. Name from the uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, they always get confused all the time. Groucho Marx. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a very well known famous yeah. dancer lady yeah. from the fifties. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> Merman. Even the fact that you're old enough to even know that name. Yeah. I I've seen a lot of movies. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's not that people you're know a that. Historian. That's yeah. a well known scene where they're yeah. dancing in the with the scarves yeah. and the yeah, you're and, a real uh, cinephile yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy anyway i'll All ask right. dean he'll know what i'm talking about all right number eight so how do we know that dogs are colorblind have you heard that i didn't yeah, know they were I've often wondered supposedly that. it's due to the color receptors in their eyes they're also known as cones dogs only have two types of cones one sees blues the others see shades between red and green. That results in what we humans know as red-green color blindness. Oh. Oh, this is sad. Mm. Excuse me. Ah, oh, they don't know any better. Mm. They don't, I suppose. Right? Yeah, yeah, they never have. Uh, number seven, we're looking at accidental inventions. Oh. Uh, like right. the microwave. A man named Percy Spencer was an engineer at uh, Raytheon yeah. in the 1940s. Uh, one day, microwaves from an active radar began melting the candy bar in his pocket. Oh boy. Uh, he was intrigued, so he tried popcorn kernels, uh, and they actually popped in his pocket. Ooh. This discovery led to uh, Raytheon's invention of the first microwave in 1947. What do you know? Hmm. All right, number six, if you've been paying attention to the NLCS, then you've probably noticed Braves outfielder Jock Peterson and his pearls. Peterson's been wearing a strand of pearls around his neck since uh, late in the regular season. There's no special meaning behind them. Peterson says he did the chain thing. Uh, he was tired of it. He saw some pearls and liked the look. Huh. So he called his jeweler and ordered some. <laughs> After his solo homer in game one of the division series and the go-ahead homer in game three, both against the Brewers, fans got on board. And now they're all wearing pearls from little girls to burly looking truck drivers. Peterson, by the way, was traded by the mm -hmm. Cubs to the Braves. I had things gone differently, maybe he'd be wearing them here. But. Huh. Oh. What do you know? Of, mm. You're going to have him on your fashion podcast, I yeah. hear. Is that true? Sportsman's yeah. uh, jewelry segment. That, that is I great. Yeah. <laughs> and number five, every now and then, uh, a farmer in Ireland will make a cool discovery, a hunk of bog butter. Oh. Oh. They're usually oh. estimated to be about 2,000 years old. Hey, oh. Yes, these hunks of butter are found buried in a bog. This is actually not that unusual because huh. that's what people used to do with butter sure, yeah. and meat thousands of years ago to preserve it. Butter was quite the luxury item in ancient Ireland, and believe it or not, Ireland's National Museum says the butter is still edible. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Generally, people decline. Yeah, you gotta try but listen, wow. if you're willing to eat a tuna fish sandwich out of the vending machine, why not yeah, bog why butter? Not? Yeah. Are a lot of people eating those tuna fish sandwiches, though? I don't yeah, know. They, yeah, well, somebody's buying them. Yeah. They keep refilling them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or it's the same tuna sandwich that's been there for 20 years. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, well, maybe. Here last week. You would try it, and yeah. you could find out. It would be fine, yeah. All right, number four, a guy in Kosovo. Yeah? 
It yeah. says Swald, an old school Nokia phone. Swallowed. 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 Yeah. Swallowed. That is dangerous for a lot of reasons, yeah. as you can okay. imagine, but particularly because the battery acid in a phone like that would likely kill you. Oh, boy. There is no explanation for why he swallowed it. Surgeons managed to remove it without cutting into the stomach by taking it out in three wow. pieces with endoscopy. Eesh. That is, they inserted a small tube camera into his mouth so they could see what they were doing. The guy's totally fine. They say no lasting damage. Hmm. The phone is 21 years old and was advertised as being very sturdy. But well, there you go. How do you get yeah. that out of there? I, uh... Endoscopy. They put something down his... Yeah. Put them under, put it under his throat, yeah. broke it up, took it out of the... They come out the same way, or...? I'm guessing. Got to have the camera sniff. Or you just push it, great push it through? Or? Movie or something. Did yeah. you get on there? All right, number three. If you love outdoors as much yes. as we do... Yeah. Uh, in the winter... Yes. You ought to try a moon bike adventure. It's a lightweight motorbike made for the snow. Think of it as a snowmobile without all that clumsy machinery. It's set to debut this winter for rental at various ski resorts. Boy, that, that really screams my name. It does. It mm -hmm. actually does. Yeah. It no, doesn't it, require a single output of it, human yeah. energy whatsoever. I would tip over. It's like a motorcycle. I mean, oh. yeah. and the Not problem good. is me going up into the into uh, the yeah. into the hills yeah. to begin with. I get uh, the altitude yeah. sickness, yeah. Oh, and I, I didn't gotta, know that. and I can't yeah. get off the the, well, the, the chair lift. The chair we know. lift is yeah, trouble yeah, too. You best stay on your sofa again <laughs> for this one. Next time. Uh. Anyway, uh, number two. Uh, could your next car's tires be made from dandelions? That source uh, of uh, front yard contains the scourge, the scourge yeah, yeah, yeah. of the front yard. <laughs> I got it now. It contains yeah, a it. gum <laughs> that may be a good synthetic alternative to rubber. Rubber trees I, take six I years worry. to grow, uh, so. enough for harvesting, but dandelions can be done in less than a year. Continental Tire <laughs> has produced the first tires where the tread <laughs> is made 100% on dandelions. I am sorry, Paul. The natural rubber company started all this about six years ago, and they've <laughs> <laughs> they the produced <laughs> the <laughs> first test tires for passenger cars and trucks. They hope to be making them for yeah. consumers in 10 years. Yeah. Five There's to 10 that years. little window where you have to jump in and give them a correction. <laughs> it was helpful. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't making any sense. So I'm like, ah, you don't want right. to insult him. You don't no, want to like, because he's yeah. always riding. He'll get it back on yeah. the tracks. I just keep going. Just keep pedaling. That's all you Boy. can do. When it comes to uh, reading the teleprompter, you are the scourge never, of the yeah. morning. Yeah. <laughs> and the source, too. <laughs> they think this is easy, Larry. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah the words know. are moving, right? Yeah. It's not yeah. like you can sit there and think about it. You. It's boom. You got to keep going. Yeah. Thank you. Amazing. I'm with you, Paul. I yeah. understand. It's Only we easy. would understand. Yeah. Thank you, Larry. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Number one from the archives of the BBC, here are some incredible predictions about future technologies from a 34 years ago, 1987. Oh, all right. Greetings, 20th century people. I'm wearing uh, part of the gear of the future. Well, it may look like today's, but it's not what it seems. The suit is chemically treated to make it thermosensitive. It absorbs heat when you're hot, just cooling you down, and releases it again when, you, when you're cold, so you maintain a constant temperature. Well, I don't have much in my pockets. A few smart cards, uh, holograms of my family, and we finally solved the problem of lost keys. Don't have any in the first place. Each unique fingertip opens all the different doors Ooh, in my life interesting. when I press them against pattern recognition pads. I also carry my doctor round with me. A tiny biosensor under my tongue analyzes chemical changes in my saliva and radios any changes that I ought to know about to my tie which changes colour so I can intercept most illnesses before they become a problem. And I uh, carry what? my office round with me as well. Now this isn't uh, just a watch or just a TV oh, phone. Oh, oh. It's, uh, if you look, it might have Maggie underneath. Wave, Maggie. It's also satellite connected, so that. I can uh, receive information, any information I want, from any computer I have access to around the world. And uh, I carry a printer 
for that information in my briefcase so that when I get a, a message, it all prints out like that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> what else he have I got in here? So close. How yeah. about this for a bit of future entertainment? This is my 3D oh. TV, and oh. I can shut out the world for the brief moments that I'm still stuck on mass pub public transport systems. Well, we uh, take full responsibility for our predictions, so someone will be, will be back in 20 years' time to analyse just what happened to tomorrow's person. Hi. I wonder where yeah. he is now. Wow. wow. Mm. Pretty good. Not it's all that bad, nine. right? Not, no, bad. not bad. Not bad. Nine to nine, nine to nine, nine to nine.